Cancer was the hospital's first diagnosis. A hostile opposition, a dangerous prognosis. It's a hard road ahead, she knows this. Focused, she discloses her battle plan with people that were her closest. Ready to answer this explosive test with blood, toil, tears and sweat. So she delves, deep in her war chest, uncovering a strength only known by the best. Her strategy awaits like a game of chess, the queen will survive. Check. But it's not so plain sailing, her cells misbehaving uncontrollably. Chemo, a friend with motive so villainy, her only treatment causes so much brutality. Each round more profound than the last, casting dark circles around her eyes. As she lies awake at night, hating her life, her muscles immobilise, she wants to cry. But she pulls herself together and falls asleep. Time passes, maybe weeks, and the tumour's reducing. Positive news, but her hair she's losing, she's healing and yet feels defeated, it's confusing. She walks over to the window. Limping in pain, stares at the trees, leaning on the window, pain she breathes. One breath. Two. She realises what she needs to do. Either wave the white flag and negotiate her fate, or take matters into her own hand. Act, not wait. So she acted. Her diet she changed, her lean vegetable range. Healthy fighting foods, all that she ate. Positive thinking, rewiring her brain. Facing adversity in a calm and collective way. Then, on one June afternoon, her phone on two bars on charge in her room, watching Lion King with her kids, eight, six and two. The three kids too fixated on the HD screen and between each scene they see a parallel. Simba's life started spinning carousel as his father fell, leaving a young kid without a parent well. Her kids confused, scarred for Simba, a parent lost so soon. Kids have parents was all that they knew. But that wasn't true, and she knew that. Unlike a movie, there's no pause, rewind, setback. She had the remote control to fight back using her mind's mental life hack. She had to be sat at the table as her kids grew up. Facts. See, cancer isn't a quick race, a 100 metre dash. But she was clearing each hurdle with brace and panache. A flawless technique. The finish line was in sight. Her supporters motivating from the sideline. It was a fine line, but she crosses. She looks at her stopwatch and watches as her clids look on with glee and promise. Dancing with energy. Options. This notion. Was she free? She completed this race for life easily. She picked up the gold and stood high on the podium. It was a cinematic showcase, like an IMAX or Odeon. This was her victory. She beat Cancer, who may have picked up an injury, but little did she know, up there on the top row, Death was sitting in the bleachers, taking notes, watching from a distance. He took out his hourglass and tapped it a few times. He looked to the sky and left in the blink of an eye. See, the story wasn't complete. There was more in store. She won the battle, but this was war.